<laughs> just a typical day in the office. We just got what? We just got this really awesome email from this girl that just finished month of living one. And she said she's so proud for buying and exchanges, but overall the best part is her mentality towards food and how now she views it as fuel, uh, fuel and what it can do for her instead of to her. These are my favorite emails. So basically, You've she changed her whole life. Understands everything. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Uh, Stephanie. Love you, Steph. Thank you, thank you, thank you for building all of these programs and empowering women with confidence all over the world. I feel like today she's in Canada. Is a really positive day. Yeah. I mean, we just had a really good meeting with that manufacturer. We had a phenomenal idea for a trainer. Mm -hmm. We're getting great emails. Yeah. I mean, it's. Nine day from yesterday. It's like a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. La 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 la. Okay, he sent some Dallas dates. Do we want to open your calendars? Yes, we do. Come through. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this buffet? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. This is what happens when your office is right next door to Safeway. Mm -hmm. You get squid in your sentence. Yeah, who wants to break this? Oh, you get it. Stop calling me. I'll answer it and break the wishbone. So you have to make a wish before you break it. What if I already have the larger Wait, size? but what if we both what if we both make the wish and then one of us doesn't get a wish? That's what, what? the whole what point is. is. So you make a wish and I make a wish and then we pull this thing apart and one of us wish just goes down Let's the drain. Let's make a wish. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Um, I don't think you're allowed to say that well. Alright, so we're just gonna we're okay. gonna tap into it, this that mental telepathy that we always have. Okay, I made a wish. I don't know that I got it, but I've got a wish. Wait, I don't have one. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, don't put it down. You can't put it down. Okay. okay. I'm ready. <laughs> that took everything from me. <laughs> it's just my wish oh, just man. slid right out of my feet. Our apparel stuff's coming together really fast. That was me. I wish that we would have ice cream sundaes today. <laughs> your wish was. I want your wish. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Give her. You know what I'd say? I'd say we keep your wish going, and we'd make my wish happen anyway. We just make your wish. That was so sad. It was like mm -hmm. I'm calling. Boom. Can I have this chicken leg that you made? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so disturbed. I'm not even gonna abandon the chicken leg. I bought all of our plane tickets. I just bought five. We're going to Dallas. Mm -hmm. At five o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be awesome. Oh man, I'm just gonna stay up all night. On everything. Okay, I'm gonna go home and uh, it's garage workout time. Meet me there in Lake Lisa. Yeah. Will you meet me there? <laughs> Will you meet me? <laughs> yeah. Will you meet me there? <laughs> Will you meet me there in like what time is it? Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty three. Will you meet me there at like 1.30 and we'll train? Yeah. Okay. Does that work for everybody? Is there a second car here? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. My car. I came here alone. <laughs> oh wow. There it is. Cassie, girls on that. Are you going to come? I think. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. Yeah. It's kind of confusing, huh? It is. Yeah. Like, what should we do with our lives? I know, but I have so much left to do. You should stay here. We'll come back and get you. Okay, good. Let's see. Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Got these. Jay Bird just sent me these brand new Freedom wireless headphones. And they're badass, but I'm trying to figure out. They're not like the original ones I have, so I'm trying to pair them. I've never used them. What? <laughs> what are you doing, you little nut? What are you doing, you little nut? You got crayon on your face. You got crackers. You are living it up. So we'll check those out later. Maybe I should charge it while you're working out. I live my life today. <gasps> you got boogies. <gasps> you got some boogies.
You want me to get your boogie? You want me to get him? Come here, I'll get it. That's a big one. Look at the big boogie. Can I get it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get the crayon? Wow! Good job. <laughs> I'm going to train upper body in the garage because obviously I'm yeah. hanging out with you today. So we're going to work out at home. You're going to help me. I'm going to take some uplift. Do you want some? What do you think? Oh, oh some crackers. Mmm, those are some high energy crackers. What do you think? You want some pre-workout crackers? Okay. I gotta get you a new cracker. That one has guava passion uplift all over it. You wanna pick out a new cracker? You want applesauce or crackers? You want applesauce? Oh, you want some puffs? Okay, get them. Got them? Good job. That's pretty awesome. Cholita. What do you have? Show her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't Can touch I have it, them? Though. Don't touch it, though. Mommy's pre-workout. Oh, you're, are you getting this? You're doing baby pull-ups. Here, put your hands here. Come here. Do a pull-up. Do a pull-up. Yeah, girl. This is just water, by the way. Hello. Can you drink milk through your nose? Can you drink it like this? Or like this. Which one? That's your nose. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Go with that tickle. Go with that tickle. Go with that tickle. Is that a muscle? Where's your muscle? Yeah. Can you flex your muscle? Sam, look. Look. Look it. Can you flex your muscle? Yeah. Jump. <laughs> jump. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are weights. Heavy. Hold her while I back the clock. Okay, this is what you do when you're trying to train in the garage with a toddler.
He left to the oh, Mickey Mouse Club playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you supposed to get a workout in when you're listening to Mickey Mouse? Mickey How about the hot dog dance, huh? Mickey Ready? Active rest. Active rest. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Active rest. I love it. Okay, this is my fourth set. First set was six reps. Second and third sets were 12 reps, 10 to 12 reps. I'm going to try to get one last set of 10 to 12 reps. Needed, I'm going to do incline bench bicep curls. I like doing these with hammer grip just so the uh, dumbbells don't get in the way of you. So I 
bicep training, you can really focus on angles a lot. You can really focus on angles a lot. So think about where your torso is. Think about where your elbow is in relation to your torso. So this angle where my elbow is right next to my torso, right to the side of my torso, is a whole different angle than when you use an incline bench like this and my elbow is actually behind my torso. So when I'm leaning back on the bench like this, if you look at my elbow, it's way behind my torso. So this is the angle that I'm using right now. And if I were standing up straight, my arm is way back here. So it's a totally different angle than if my arms were right down at my sides and I was using this angle. So think about that a lot when you're training biceps. You can do bicep curls with your elbow way out in front of your torso, right to the side, behind. There's so many different options and you want to work all the way through. These are power blocks and there's a chart right here. So I've got all of the adder weights in, which means there's weights inside of these. Um, and my pin is on the white level. So they're all color coded. coded. So with both adder weights in and the level, the white level I have it on, I'm doing 20 pound bicep curls right now. If I didn't have the adder weights in, I'd be doing 15 pound bicep curls. So that's why I'm struggling quite a bit because I'm using 20 pound dumbbells and it's pretty hard for me on the second set. I'm gonna do one more set. gym if I failed at 10 reps like I just did it's so easy to just drop the weights and grab the next lower weight um, and just kind of make it a drop set so that I can get through all 12 reps but I have to go all the way back to the rack take the pins out change the level lock it and lock it so I don't really have time to waste during this workout so I'm just gonna call it good at 10 to 12 reps and uh, my biceps are pumped and I'm feeling good so my home my home gym is a collection of all sorts of stuff. Of course, I've got all my awesome Rogue equipment, but uh, companies send me different dumbbells and workout equipment and stuff all the time. This one, these are cool. I've never heard of them or seen them anywhere, but they sent them to me recently, and they're called New Bells. And uh, I think the deal with them is obviously just the circle dumbbell. It kind of evenly distributes the weight. You can feel that while you're doing it. So they're pretty cool. Uh, not 100% necessary to add to your gym, but uh, if you want to add some cool fancy stuff and try out some new things, they're pretty sweet. I didn't get paid to say that either. <laughs> they really just sent them to me and I like them. with those uh, incline presses and uh, obviously some chest, upper chest, and front delts is what I'm working now. Okay, second set.
Okay, I'm gonna do three sets of these, so last set.
This is a really, really great alternative to pull-ups. I'm absolutely doing these right now in place of pull-ups, depending on your grip, whether you're overhand or underhand, the angle of the bar, how you set up the bar, the angle of your, of your body under the bar, all of those things will change up this exercise dramatically and you can really target your back muscles and your arm muscles the same way you would in a pull-up. What do I want to do next? Let's do some military presses. So, I set the bench up for military presses. I'm going to grab dumbbells and get busy. So for these, I want to do 15 pound dumbbell presses. So with, the, with both outer weights in and on this very first level, the black bar, that's the level that lets you do 15 pound presses. Technically, this is gonna be my first working set. I feel really warmed up. I feel good, my shoulder joints feel good. It's 115 degrees in Arizona, I'm in my garage. It is a little bit air conditioned in here, but still really hot. So my body's nice and warm and I feel good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my first warm up set, but it is a slight bit light for me. These are 15 pound dumbbells. Um, I'll probably add weight each set, probably going up to 20 or 25 pounds towards the third set. Flies to work the side. Miss Newbell's company sent me 20 pounds and seven and a half pounds. I use seven and a half pounds for my lateral flies every time I'm in the, in the garage gym. I grab eight pound demos very often at the gym. If your form is on point, you do not need heavy weight with these at all. 
and I'll show you how to really dial in the core. Hey, you want to watch me? You want a lateral fly is? You want your dumbbell? You want to copy mommy? Here. Here. Good job. So I like putting my butt against the solid surface. Against the solid surface, you can put it up against the wall. But since the benches are here, I'm just going to use that. And it keeps your torso from swinging. So if I was standing up without anything, a lot of times, a lot of times people are doing this, you know. And if you put, hey monkey, if you put your butt up against a wall or a bench, your torso stays. Your torso stays steady and you won't swing around at all. And you can really, really focus on your delts. much benefit at least not that I can feel during those it's just what I have on hand they're easy to grab um, you want to make sure you tip your hand this way like you're pouring out a cup of water or a pitcher of water have your pinkies higher than your thumbs and that will really work on that lateral that lateral part of your delt that side delt and you can figure that stuff out too by yourself so if you just put your arm up and if you tip your arm this way you'll feel a lot more anterior delt. If you tip your arm this way, you're gonna start feeling it in your side lateral and your rear delt a little bit more. So again, all about angles. Get to know your body, try different angles, see how you feel. Try to figure out your weak points, what areas do you wanna develop, what areas are strong already, and work, work toward those angles and work for and against them. <laughs> swinging around. I'm not using any body momentum or any momentum whatsoever to get that weight up. It's really just the muscle that I'm trying to work working. My delts. Sam, you have delts, huh? You have arms like mommy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey babe, are you hungry? Okay, third set, 12 reps. some fruit and some protein pancakes. I'll get you that. I'll get it. Zoop. 
Should they subscribe to my channel? Yeah. Where is it? Is it down there? Can you point down there? Where's your shoes? Yes, down there. If they want to watch a really cool exercise library video, where should they go? Yeah. Over there? Over here? If they want to look at my website, jessiefitness.com, you can go up there. And if you want to watch all the vlogs of Sammy, where can we look? Right here? <laughs> <laughs> Say bye.